Hello everyone, we are back playing The Sims 2 Honeywood, my custom neighborhood um, here in The Sims 2, and we are going to play another family today. In the last episode, we played the Brant family, I believe, and um, we played her through fall. Um, she is our family sim, and I believe she dreams of owning a farm one day. She did fall in love. Um, which was exciting. She actually, I think, um, is in love with Cooper here, who lives in these apartments. So, what we might do, I'm trying to decide if I want to play Cooper just yet, or if I want to wait. I think I'm going to wait to play him. Um, I don't go in any particular order when I play my rotational uh, saves. I just play through a season and then I pick someone to play next who needs to go through the next season. So I need to play everybody through fall. So we're going to pick um, a family here that's in fall to play. So we could play Lucas. He's a quiet guy. He has a knowledge sim. Um, we could play Jacob Freeman. He is not nice. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to play Lucas here and see what he's up to. So he is a quiet guy and he is a knowledge sim. Um, I honestly don't remember exactly what he is like. So I guess we will see when we get in here to his house. Oh dear, we've got some flies. So this is Lucas. And it looks like he's already had his first woohoo with Lila. Okay, so he is in love with Lila, who actually lives in the apartment buildings. So I think what I'm going to do, because Lila is a family sim, I honestly think I'm going to have her um, come move in with him because I would like to start some families very soon. Um, and I like to do that at the beginning of a rotation. So it's Monday morning. It's the beginning of fall. I think I'm going to go move Lila in with him and then I will be back. Okay, on second thought, um, I went over and checked on Lila, and I forgot her apartment is so cute, and I spent some time decorating her apartment, and um, so I didn't really want to move her out of that yet until we play with her a little bit more, because they may end up moving into her apartment. So I think what we're going to do is just play with um, Jacob here. Nope, Lucas. <laughs> I can't remember who's who. Lucas here. We're going to play with him and because he doesn't even have a job yet. So moving in may be a little rushed. Um, and so I think we will play with him until we get him a job. He, his lifetime want is to become an education minister. And... That might be actually a good idea because he is a knowledge sim. So I think that that might be something we could do if the um, education job is showing up on our list. So we're going to have him clean up the house a little bit. So let's check out his personality. He is um, Pisces. He is not neat, not sloppy, kind of in between. He's very shy. He's active, um, kind of serious, but very nice. So he is kind of this nice guy. Um, we don't know his hobby yet, but he does have a crush on Lila. And it looks like, yeah, they are just a crush right now. So he's friends with Jacob, um, who is the businessman in town. And I think he lives next door. And then he does have some other relationships just starting out, but nothing else like super. Oh, no, we do not want the criminal. Um, not the athletic. And not the intelligence. Okay. So Graham um, is someone else that he knows, but not necessarily friends with. 
Um, we'll have him get a little bit of breakfast going. And he does want to earn a skill point, but it doesn't say what kind of skill point. So it might be a cooking. Um, and then we might head out to the Career Services Center to see if we can get him a job. So he wanted to buy a bookcase and he had a little bit of money so we bought him one of these smaller bookcases and now he wants to gain a cooking skill point so we will do that shortly um and it looks like we've got some bills and meadow peterson walking by but we're going to let him get this cooking skill point in fall so they will um gain their skills a lot faster in the fall which is awesome Okay, I'm going to give him a secondary aspiration. Um, I like to give all my Sims a secondary aspiration because I feel like it just makes them a little bit more dynamic. And I do use Pleasant Sims um, secondary aspiration calculator. So according to his interests, he is tied for romance, pleasure, and fortune. So he's tied between the three. So I'm going to actually... Um, give them a number one two and three so i'm going to say that romance is one pleasure is two fortune is three and i'm going to do a random number generator i'm doing this all off camera but between one and three and we got three so that is i already forgot what i said but it's on the um spreadsheet three is fortune so we're going to give him the secondary aspiration of fortune which is really interesting because he has absolutely no interest in money so maybe that's not well i already chose it so but he is interested in work so maybe he just wants to be really successful at his job but he not doesn't necessarily care so much about the um money aspect and if that's the case then i think education would be a great spot for him because we know that educators don't make the money they deserve but they are very ambitious so i think we will do the education career for him um, but in order to do that we're going to have to go to the career services center and find the job there since it wasn't in the newspaper so in honeywood they do have the new life career services which is actually the pleasant view career services i just changed the name of it and it was made by pleasant sims but we are going to go here and get a job okay here we are this lot is so cute Bunch of fancy cars in the parking lot. Lots of Sims here. Oh, wow. So we come to this board here and we just find a job in education. And then we might take this time to get to know some of the townies. Yes, we would like to take that job. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's just introduce ourselves to a couple of people. Um, we can get to know some of the fine folks of Honeywood. Obviously, some of them are similar to just, you know, they're just all the regular townies that we know and love. But I figured, you know, this town needed to have some residents already. So it looks like. He's going to talk to Kennedy. And Ivy here is going to tell him a joke. Um, oh, he is very attracted to Brittany Windland. Um, I wonder if there's an ACR on this. There's not. But we will spawn one very quickly right here. And I believe um, Lucas is bisexual, but I'm, I'm, let's see. Yes, he is. 
So we will see how this plays out. He is very attracted to this Brittany. Um, she is very cute. But he is also very attracted to Lila. So I'm not sure he's going to admire her. If she will give him the time of day. What is Marissa doing? <laughs> oh, she did not like that. So she's not, okay, she's not interested as much as he is. Um, maybe we can grab a little snack. We will, no, we cannot. We actually don't have enough money to do anything like that. So <laughs> we probably should not be doing that. Um, he actually wants to serve some food, so maybe we'll have him go back home and he could invite Lila over and make some dinner for her. Okay, we are back at home. We're going to grab the mail really quick. It is Bill's. Um, someone's calling us. So let's go see who that is. And after we answer the phone, we will call Lila over and see if she wants to come have dinner with us. Nope, they hung up. Okay. Well, let's call her. Sure, she's on her way. We've got to wait for it to flip to 4.30 before we can actually make dinner. So let's just go use the restroom really quick. There we go. All right, let's uh, try to make some spaghetti. We do have level cooking net two now, so maybe it'll be okay. We'll let him cook up some spaghetti for her. Here she comes. She is so cute, and they both have blonde hair. <laughs> so my the redheads um, are a couple, and now the blondes are a couple. So not on purpose, but that's funny how that you know came about. We'll go tell her hello. She is very beautiful, very kind of. I think her hobby might be nature, but I'm not sure. Oh wow. He's so happy to see her. They went for two kisses. All right, let's go finish making the food and then you guys can hang out for a bit. Let's see what she's gonna do. She's gonna sit here and I guess watch. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't burn it. She's heading outside because I do think, like I said, I do think her hobby is nature. Are you going to come eat? Oh, I didn't mean to click off of that. Dang it. Okay. We can sit here and have a nice meal together. They're going to hold their plates because we have this plant here. Oh, this is our... Okay, this is our... <clears throat> Maybe I'll move that really quickly to this corner. Oh, no, I can't do that either. Okay. And then this is our sim. Perfect. They're going to chat about their first woohoo together. Maybe he's telling her about all of the new people that he met. He's also attracted to Brandy and Mary, who is married. His turn ons are underwear and a great cook. So anyone who cooks well, he's probably going to like.
much, Apo. We'll let them finish up here. It's going to take forever because they're going to sit and talk. And then we will see if ACR wants to do anything fun for us. She's going to jump rope right in the way of the refrigerator. Okay. Well, we can tend to that later, I guess. Okay, they're going to flirt. If she would stop jump roping. Can I ask her to stop doing that? Oh my gosh. Seriously? Lila? You come to my house to jump rope? I mean, what's happening? <laughs> I guess he's going to give up and go take a bath. And she's just going to continue jump roping. Oh my gosh. Could you stop? Well, he's going to have his first day of work tomorrow, so we might just need to say goodbye to her if that will work to get her to stop. She's not, she's not jump roping anymore. She was, but she's not anymore. Okay. Thanks for dinner. Um, we're going to head to bed, and we will see you guys in the morning. Okay, it's the next morning. Um, Lucas is up cleaning the counter, it looks like, and he does have um, work shortly. So we're going to have him eat just a bowl of cereal before work. And then he wants to go to work and earn some money, which hopefully he will. And then we will see what happens when he comes home. But let's try to get this bowl of cereal in before you head out so you're not hungry at work. You're going to have to just go to the restroom when you get there. All right, that's all. You have to go. Don't miss it. Don't miss your first day, buddy. He is a playground monitor. So look at that nice outfit. Go monitor those kids on the playground. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the handprint. Oh, wow. All right. We'll see him when he gets back. Okay. He's coming home from work. And he was promoted to a teacher's aide. Perfect. We got some money coming in now. That is excellent. We can afford to pay our bills. And he is just all about those skills. So charisma and cleaning are what he needs for his job, which are the ones that he wants. Both of those we can get, no, we can get the cleaning from the bookshelf. Um, we're going to take care of his needs and maybe make just a lunch meat sandwich and get his skills up for a little bit today, I think, um, because I think we could get another promotion. And then I, I would like for him to get, you know, up in the, the career for a few days before he works on his relationship with Lila, um, just so he's, you know, settled. Oh no, we need to call him as well. We can call him after we eat. So let's make our lunch meat sandwich. So it looks like James Cooper actually gave him a ring on the phone. So he had a little chat with him. Um, and now he's going to come study cleaning to work on that for his job. We'll try to get cleaning and charisma out of the way. Okay, so he's got his cleaning and his charisma for work, and now he wants to actually get another promotion. 
So it's getting late and it's raining and storming. I'm just going to have him go to bed and then he can go to work in the morning and hopefully get another promotion. And then we'll see if we can invite Lila back over and maybe work on their relationship some. Um, um, hopefully he gets the want to propose and get married and all that stuff, but we will just have to wait and see. It's the next morning. Nothing crazy exciting has happened. He's just off to work again. And hopefully we get that promotion. We'll see him when he gets home. So we have a chance card. Lucas is taking the roll sheets to the front office after the morning announcements when a frantic mother bursts through the front door with her young son trailing behind her. Stop right there, the mother yells at Lucas. You cannot turn in that roll sheet. Taken aback, Lucas informs the women <laughs> that yes, he can turn in the roll sheet. Flustered, the mother reveals that if her child is tardy once more, he'll have to repeat the third grade and it just isn't right. Um, because it's her fault he's always late. So I think we're going to alter. I think I've had this before. Uh, oh no, he was fired! I thought we were supposed to alter it. Oh, no. Okay. He was trying to help. Oh, I should have known better. Oh, my gosh. Well, that totally backfired. I'm so sorry, Lucas. I totally ruined your day, and now you need some social fun, some social and some fun. Well, I guess now is the best time to invite Lila over. Wow, he's going. To... I definitely thought that was the right choice, you guys. I definitely did not do that on purpose. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Um, things were going so well. I'm so sorry. I am so so sorry. So I'm going to invite her over and maybe cheer him up a little bit. Okay, he's invited um, Lila. She wanted to bring a friend, but I said no because I figured he's probably just like in such a bad mood he doesn't want anybody else to come over. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, here she comes. We will give her a hello. If you hear um, an actual baby in the background, it's because my actual baby is here in the background. So you may hear her from time to time. Um, so let's say hi to Lila and see if we can work on this. He's back again with no job. Um, I guess maybe we will wait and see if he rolls a want to different job oh they're best friends now perfect we can let them just hang out and see where this goes which I'm sure we probably know where this is gonna go but we can see looks like they're going to just flirt and get back rubs I was going to see if I could make her selectable, but I don't think I can. I don't think I have that cheat enabled. Um, so we will just we will just see where this goes. Crush friend, best friend. Maybe they will um, fall in love, which is very possible. We also still don't know what his one true hobby is. Yes, I, I know you want to have some fun. I mean, I can think of something that you could do that would be fun. I'm going to wait and see what, what happens between the two of them. Maybe we... I might have him work on some skills too. She's like, why are you so oh they're gonna play kicky back. That's perfect. That'll be fun for you guys. Perfect. She's like, we can just kick this around for a little bit, have some fun. Mm 
That is perfectly fine. Look, she's trying to help him out by telling him some jokes. He's like, cute, cute joke, Lila. <clears throat> oh, he's going to play catch with her. Lovely idea on a fall day. There's my actual child. A little pillow fight. <laughs> All right, let's have him come make some grilled cheese for him and her. And we can see if maybe he will read a book. There's no TV here, so the only thing fun that they could do would be read a book. Okay, so I played some off cam, and I ended up having letting, letting him read a book because he was really struggling with the entertainment <laughs> fun department. Um, Lila's still here. She's outside playing with, I think, a wolf, maybe? <laughs> So I'm not really sure what that's about. He did roll the want to be um, best friends, BFFs, BFFs, best friends forever um, with her. So that's exciting. I locked that in. We're going to let him just shower, um, take care of some needs really quick. And just like I said, you may hear my child here. I don't know how long she's going to stay. Maybe we could ask her to stay the night. Um, we could do that. Finish this shower. And let's go ask her if she wants to stay the night. Yes, of course. Awesome. Perfect. So they very much like each other. And she just fell in love with him. That is so cute. He's also very close to falling in love with her. Um, looks like he's going to clean up some dirty plates, though. And she's going to hop in the bath. So while she's doing that, maybe we will study cleaning and work on that skill while she's taking a bath. Okay, so she is in her jammies, and he got his his cleaning points. So he's feeling a little bit better um, now that she was here. I definitely think she's into nature. She keeps coming outside. Um, <clears throat> so we will see. He's going to write in his diary. <laughs> um, if anything happens here or if they're just going to go to bed soon. I was really wanting him to fall in love with her, too. Um, so maybe before, maybe they could share some interests really quickly. And he could give her a, just a romantic goodnight kiss. Oh. Looks like they're going to hold hands instead, which is fine. Yeah. He just fell in love with her. So sweet. No, we're not going to go play catch. <laughs> we're going to go to sleep. All right, everyone. I'm so sorry. My actual child is here and she's throwing things. We're going to send him to bed. Okay, next morning, I guess Lila went home. She never actually even came to the bed. Um, but I'm going to probably play this day a little bit off camera. If anything exciting happens, I will record it. But I'm going to basically just fulfill some of these ones with these skills because it is fall and we gain skills so much faster in the fall. I thought it would be helpful to go ahead and just do these 
um, while we can get them done really fast um, and just take care of his needs. So I don't pla plan on anything super exciting, but I'm hoping if I fulfill these, he will, will want to get another job. So we will see. Okay, I did play through that entire day. Um, nothing exciting yes. happened. We just got some skills, um, mostly cleaning skills, because that's what he wanted. And <clears throat> now it is um, the last day of fall, and we are really wanting, um, I'm, nope, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, okay, so I play once based. But I also like to take into account their fears. So he may not want to propose, but he also fears getting rejected. So in my mind, if you're afraid that she's going to say no, then that means you're thinking about proposing. So he may be ready to propose to her. Um, and so I think we're going to do that today. Because um, I don't know that he's actually going to roll the want for it since he has knowledge and fortune. Um, it may be a while before he actually does. So, But he has the fear of being rejected. Um, but maybe that means that's why he won't. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And if you use fears and how you interpret those, would you interpret this as um, he's not going to propose because he is afraid to propose? Or would you take it as he should just go ahead and do it? I'm curious um, on what your thoughts are on that. But snow is on the ground because spring is coming. So why not um, head out to a community lot? Let's see if we can head out and grab a bite to eat at a diner. I wonder, yeah. Let's go to the Hive Diner. Okay, this is the Hive Diner. I definitely did not build this. I just um, downloaded it. Um, and so cute. I don't remember where I got it. <laughs> So sorry about that. It looks like that we have a sim blender and okay, and an adjuster. So perfect. Things can happen. We're gonna go ahead and request a table. Um, James is here. He has. Um, he's another one that I'm going to play in this town, and he's actually been calling us on the phone quite a few times. So we may chat with him. Oh, we've got some ginger preferences. Meadow is straight. Bruce is straight. And John is straight. So here we are at our table. Let's order an my actual child is wanting to play again. These guys are wanting to talk to me. Sandy. And I never know how to say his name, so I'm not even going to try. Here is Graham. He's also one of our playables. Someone's left the back door wide open. But there's our omelet. So we will grab some of that to eat. Thinking about this engagement idea. Not sure if we're going to do it today or not. So we finished our meal. We're going to have a little chat with James Cooper here. We can just talk to him for a little bit. 
Maybe give him a little joke. No, she's being pickpocketed. Okay, so he's really hit it off with James. Um, they're almost friends at this point. But it is getting later on in the day, and so I think I'm going to have him go back home and see if we could get with Lila again. Um, because I feel like we're probably close to being BFFs. Okay, we invited Lila over. Sure, you can bring your friend this time. And then automatically, she, they became BFFs immediately as soon as he invited her over. So, and that's exciting. She's going to come and bring a friend. I think we're going to have him fill in this hole um, out here. And we'll see who she brings. I'm honestly not sure what to expect. Or who to expect. But we shall see. Oh, she brought Graham. I should have known. Alright, let's greet Graham. Let's greet Lila. They are... Um, Graham and Lila are good friends. Oh. Greet Graham. Like, nice to meet you. Oh, no. Oh, he's a romance sim, so everybody's going to think he's attractive. <laughs> Even if they're not, you know, straight or whatever. Looks like he's going to go relax. So I'm thinking that might be a little woohoo action is about to happen. And while his friend's here, which is a little strange, but um, that, that's okay. And the phone's ringing. Let's see. Um, yes, they're just going to do a casual woo-woo. Graham is just going to have a seat out here on the couch. Um, let's go ahead and take a shower, and he wants to gain another cleaning point, but I think I'm just going to have him get leftovers for everybody. Oh no, why can't we take a shower? He's going to pull out the grilled cheese for everybody. And what are they doing out here? They better not be flirting. <laughs> I honestly don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but I'm a little nervous. <laughs> that that kind of looks like they might be flirting. Um, But hopefully not. So, there he is again with the, the fear of rejection, um, which doesn't necessarily classify it as a want, but I think that could mean that he wants to propose. So, maybe they go out here, and he just proposes. Let's see if we can call her over. Call over. No, I want you to stay there. I would like to do it outside simply because she does like nature. No. All right, let's give her a little romantic kiss here. We'll set the scene outside under this cute little tree. And we will propose. Oh no, we can see. So cute. What is she going to say? It's like a yes. Oh, and she had the want. So that's awesome. So that fulfilled it for her. All right. Well, I think we're going to end this episode here and um, because it's just going to switch over um, at night to the next day. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, we will play a round of Lila. We'll play her next, I guess. And then after this whole rotation, we will move them in together and have their wedding. So um, subscribe if you would like to follow along with this story and this rotational Let's Play of Sims 2. 
And thank you all so much for being here. I will see you in the next one.